What's up guys, Penguin Overlord here, and welcome back to Ghost Recon Breakpoint. In today's video, I'm going to give my review for the MGL Terminator. Now this review will also cover the regular MGL, um, which is going to come out with the Engineer class in Title Update 2.0.0, which is in two days from now. Uh, this review should cover um, the MGL, the regular MGL as well as the MGL Terminator as I don't anticipate it being significantly different from the uh, from the MGL Terminator. I, this seems to be just like a skin of the regular MGL. However, if there is a difference, I'll cover it in a separate video. So, there's a couple of interesting things to note here about the MGL Terminator. If you are playing the uh, tiered loot version of Ghost Recon Breakpoint, at the time I'm recording this video on uh, March 22nd, um, there is no um, bonus for this item. As you can see, most of all the other tiered items have some sort of bonus attached to them, like this M4A1 Tactical. It's got bonuses, but this one doesn't. It does have tier levels. You can get blue, purple, and uh, yellow, but for some reason, um, it doesn't have an actual bonus, which is kind of weird. Also, um, as you can see, I have it upgraded to Mark III. Uh, it does include some damage bonuses, and if you want to see Mark III upgrades, you could go watch Day Zero Gaming's uh, video about the MGL, because he covered that. Um, but if th there are damage upgrades, but it doesn't actually apply to this weapon. It's always stuck at 350, which is a little weird, and kind of reinforces my skepticism about these Mark upgrades actually having any, any significant effect on the weapons it's it's just weird it just seems so minimal it's not really even worth anything um let's see let's talk about no we'll talk about the passive bonus in a second but the third interesting thing about the mgl grenade launcher is that it does use the shells ammo type however it is it has a different capacity from the um under barrel grenade launcher and it doesn't drain from that ammo pool uh if you have an under barrel grenade launcher equipped and you have the um Let's find a perk. Pack Mule perk with 40% maximum ammo, you'll be able to carry 11 grenades with the underbarrel grenade launcher. For the MGL, you'll be able to carry 26. So the underbarrel grenade launcher will have one in the tube ready to fire and 10 extras. And then uh, the MGL will have six grenades and then 20 extra to uh, fire. So that's pretty interesting. So basically, you can just keep firing a bunch of grenades. So. That's pretty interesting. So it's weird. So it's shells, but it seems to be like a different ammo type. But let's get on with um, how effective this weapon is actually in combat. It it actually really, to no one's surprise, it really is. Um, if you have the Explosives Expert perk and the... Uh, well, actually, let's just cover the Explosives Expert perk. It does have an effect on the MGL. I've found that I can kill the ground drones with... Uh, within five to six grenades with the explosives perk uh, equipped. However, I will not be able to do that with the um, without it equipped on the ground drones. Uh, it will usually take just maybe one extra shot or two to blow up a ground drone. And for the flying drones, sometimes um, I've there's been times where I haven't been able to blow it up in one shot. Um, but sometimes I have, so jury's a little bit out on this one, but I do recommend having the Explosives Expert perk equipped, and we'll talk about that in a little bit. But this is a pretty effective weapon against most of the drones in the game. It will not kill behemoths, um, if you go through all of the ammo. They'll, it'll still have some extra health left over, and you'll have to finish it off with an LMG. However, it will take off the uh, behemoth's armor very effectively so it's a way to take down a behemoth uh, in case you just get bored with the two lmgs method uh, it will take a little bit more time than my usually preferred method with panther using the drone spray and two lmgs but it does take out a quite a bit of damage once you go through all of those grenades um, obviously, it's effective against human targets, but you do have to watch out if you're going to use it in closer range because you can blow yourself up. As you can see with these passive bonuses, if, as you go through each mark upgrade, you'll get an extra 10% explosion radius. So just be careful when using it in close quarters because I have blown myself up before. <laughs> um, this weapon finally is also good against Terminators. You just got to make sure that... Um, 
you, and this is a general note with the MGL, you have to make sure you fire just a little bit slower, take a little bit of time for your sight to get back on target, because I have missed with this thing before, um, just by dumping shells. Especially that's the case with the Terminators, because they can fall down, so if you try to fire quickly, you could fire a bunch of shells at once, but have like one or two grenades missed because the Terminator fell down, or the ground drone moved, especially with the uh, flying drones, because they're a little bit hard to hit, um, especially out at longer ranges, which is something you've got to be careful of. Um, and also they fly around a whole lot once they get disturbed, so you have to be super careful. You gotta, basically, you have to make sure they're relatively still before you take a shot at them. And of course, obviously, this is good at anti-material. Anti um, it'll blow up cars and vehicles, helicopters, just fine. Although, the grenade launchers in this game are a little bit wonky. Sometimes, I don't know what it is about this game, but I found it harder to hit with uh, grenades in Ghost Recon Breakpoint and then in Wildlands. So, something weird's going on with them. But, obviously, it'll take care of the job. And, of course, you've got six grenades. However, this does take up a weapon slot, so the question remains, um, should you um, use this weapon on a consistent basis? Um, it does give you plenty of advantages with six grenades uh, instead of one with the underbarrel grenade launcher, and of course you could fire all six and not have to reload, whereas with the underbarrel you will have to reload, but you do give up some versatility, so I do recommend... If you're going to use this weapon, have a suppressed assault rifle or DMR. Like, for example, I'm using this M4A1 Tactical. That, with a um, ballistic advantage equipped, it will give you a solid um, balance of range and stealth combined with the grenade launcher. Also, this would probably... this is de It would definitely work well with the engineer classes coming up. Because I think the engineer is going to have some bonuses with explosion damage. So, definitely, if you're playing engineer... You may want to consider using this. However, for general solo play and going through regular missions, I typically don't use the MGL. Um, just because you do give up some versatility with the, when you have this weapon equipped. Like, I can't shoot at extreme long distance um, with a sniper rifle, for instance. There's just some versatility you lose out on by having this weapon equipped. So, it's up to you. Do what you want. I use this weapon on occasion if I, like, I'm going to hide... If I'm going to blow up um, aim and drones, fight terminators, or that sort of thing. Um, but I generally don't use this against behemoths or regular mission gameplay. Unless I feel I'm really going to need it, which isn't too terribly often, to be honest. One last note. There, are a perk, there is a perk set that I do recommend having if you are going to play with the MGL a bunch. Uh, I do recommend Pack Mule because you don't get a whole lot of ammo with the MGL. It's significantly less if you don't have this perk equipped. But with this, you'll have like 26 grenades, which should be most, which for the most part, should be enough for what you need to do inside a base. Uh, definitely Explosives Expert because you'll get 20% explosive damage. That will definitely help you out and help you blow things up much better. And. This is kind of optional, but close and personal is nice because you do have a fairly long reload time with the N MGL. So that will help um, get your grenade launcher back into the fight more quickly. But I think that covers it for the MGL. Let me know if you have any other questions, comments, concerns, uh, anything. Uh, let me know if you have any of that for the MGL in the comment section below. Hope this video helped you guys out. I'm Penguin Overlord, and I will catch you all next time. Take care, guys.